We're in Scotland. Good morning, everybody from Scotland. We are here at Greenock. Mountains. Oh, look at this. I'll go on the other side now. All these Scottish hills. Oh, I'm so excited for today. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Clary Tale. Welcome to day six of our British Isles cruise. Today, as you can hear from the wind and you saw from the clips earlier, we're in Scotland, which is very exciting. So I've been to Edinburgh before, so that's why I'm not going to be going there today but I thought I'd check out Loch Lomond. So it should be a good day, come join me. I'll be doing this myself, so I'm getting the train to Glasgow, then from Glasgow to Loch Lomond, have a look around the beautiful Scottish scenery, and then head back to the ship. So as I mentioned, I don't have a Disney excursion book for today. I'm just doing it on my own using trains. I'm kind of glad though, a little bit glad, just because it would have been at 5.45 this morning. That's when all the excursions left, because we docked very early and we leave at five. So it's eight o'clock now. So I don't have a lot of time, not as much as in other ports, but it should still be plenty of time for me to go to Glasgow and Loch Lomond. I think it takes about half an hour to Glasgow and then another half an hour to Loch Lomond. So I should be back in plenty of time. Fingers crossed nothing goes wrong with the trains. We all know what happened in Naples, uh, but it's not too far from port. If something did go wrong, there's always gonna be a taxi or something. Uh, the gangway is at deck one, judging by the fact that there's no one here at deck three. Let's head into Scotland. Coming off the gangway to Scotland. I just spoke to some lovely Scottish volunteers. <laughs> They've given me the direction to the train station. They just said it's just down here a couple of minutes, so shouldn't be too far. The great thing about this port is with Scotland being in the UK, I do have 4G, which is really handy because I can just use my map on my phone and track where the train station is. It says it's a 10, eight minute walk all the way down here. Nice buildings here. Ooh. Look at this. That was a really easy walk, really quick as well. I'm at Greenwich Central. I'll let you know how much the train tickets are. So that was really easy. Um, my train ticket was £7.80 and I need to get off at Glasgow, switch trains and get off at Ballock Central. That's the closest to Loch Lomond, so Yay, this is all going well so far. It's only half eight. I don't need to worry about time, so it should be good. Right, the train has arrived, Scott Rail. So I've just arrived at Glasgow. My train was at 8.45 and it is now 25 to. So it didn't take too long to get to Glasgow. I'm now switching stations. So I need to go down here and head to Queen Street to get my train to Loch Lomond. Little look at Glasgow as I'm walking through to Queen Street. The buildings kind of remind me of Liverpool a little bit actually. Yeah, it really reminds me of Liverpool. Right, following my phone and these signs. So there's a sign here that says Queen Street Station. It should be just up here now. Oh, it's literally right here. I can see the rail sign. That was really easy. So I only walked through town a little bit. Got feel of Glasgow. 
I'm not gonna stay too much longer now. I'm gonna go straight. Oh, they do have a hard rock. Oh my gosh, I just saw a hard rock. Right, I'm gonna have to go get a pin now. <laughs> How unfortunate, it's closed. Oh, so close to getting a new pin. Getting a Glasgow pin. I am loving these mint green buses. Oh, they're electric as well. Right, I'm just crossing this road because I saw a really nice square here just by the station. There are these banners everywhere and people make Glasgow. I love that. What a lovely saying. Oh, we've got Robert Peel here. I don't know if you can see him because I am filming into the sun. Robert Peel, Prime Minister who repealed the Corn Laws, Lord Rector of Glasgow University. What a nice little square. Walter Scott, so this is Walter Scott on this column. There at the top. Let's go and see what this is. Oh, I just heard a tour guide say that usually that flag is the Scottish flag, but with the Queen's passing, They've put a Union Jack up there. Triangle, you see her Royal Highness, Queen Victoria. And that oh, is this is Queen Victoria. Ah, uh, this is the City Hall. I did guess it was, but I didn't want to say, just in case it wasn't, but I just heard the tour guide say that it is the City Hall. You can tell, look how beautiful it is. Look at all these statues up here wow right let's head back to glasgow station there's so many beautiful flowers for the queen all laid out here i'm just walking over here i wanted to see who this was i've turned into my mum she always does this walks up to the statues to find out who they are uh who is this thomas graham Thomas Graham was a chemist. Right, I am leaving Glasgow now to that train station. I just saw the square and I thought I had to come visit. Caught a little bit of the tour as well. <laughs> I was standing really far away. I, she was speaking loudly, I promise. <laughs> From the tiny bit I've seen of Glasgow so far, I really like it here. I'll have to bring Simon back so we can explore it properly. He's never done Edinburgh either, so we could do a little Scottish tour one day. So when you're traveling solo, you can't be shy to ask questions. So that's what I did. I asked, which train would I get to ballot? And she said, the ballot train. <laughs> so I felt rather embarrassed, but at least I know I'm in the right place. <laughs> this is it, this is my train. We are in Glasgow right now. And where I'm heading is just here. And that is, this is Lake Loch Lomond, right here. It's actually not far from where the ship is, so the ship is here at Granite. But you can't get to Loch Lomond without going to Glasgow first. But I'm glad because I got to see a bit of the city centre. So we're heading up here now. I just got off at Balloch. It seems like a little cute town. Look at this. We've got a Scottish flag flying right by the station. We're right on the river here. And there are some cruisers leaving. I'm gonna have a look and see what I can do, what I can explore. Here's a map. Right, so we're here, so maybe I get a boat through here and onto the main lake and back. So there are a couple cruises, um, this one's a two hour one and it's at 12.30 so I'm feeling like I'll get a bit anxious on that, trying to get back to the ship. So I'm going to go for this one hour one and it's at 11.30 and it's £14.50. 
and it takes you around Loch Lomond. So I've booked the one hour boat. It was only £14.50 and I just thought it'd give me a better view of Loch Lomond when I don't really know where I'm walking and they did say, but well, they might be trying to just sell it to me, but they did say that I'll see more on the boat than I would walking. So I'm getting off a big ship onto a little boat. <laughs> it's all about cruises. Um, and uh, hopefully I should get some nice views. This is it, Sweeney's Cruise Co. Loch Lomond. Ooh. I'm gonna go upstairs. It's the largest expanse of fresh water in Great Britain. 23 miles long, 5 miles wide, and at the northern end, 656 feet deep, making it the third deepest in Scotland. As you look towards each shore, you may be able to notice a line can be drawn between the hills on each side and the nearby islands ahead. This is the Highland Boundary Fault. We will cross this boundary and enter the Scottish Highlands. This fact earns Loch Lomond the title, the Gateway to the Highlands. So this is the boundary between the Lowlands and the Highlands. The loch itself is also home to around 14 species of fish, the most prominent being salmon and sea trout. There is also a rare type of freshwater herring called powan, which can only be found in three other lochs in Scotland. Lomond. People use this to navigate, he said. This is the boat I got. It looks like it's getting full for the next cruise already. I'm just having a little walk through here. Balloch Castle Country Park. Oh, some little duckies. I'm so glad I did that cruise. I got to see so much more of the lake than I would have done just walking beside it. I am doing a little bit of a walk now though so that I can kind of done both. But yeah, it was great that cruise and getting to go so far out, hearing all the fun facts about all the whole lake and the castles around it. That was so interesting. I kind of get Lake District vibes. Sorry, Scots, you might hate me for saying that. It's not, obviously here is much bigger. We're in a forest now. Just come to the side here at the aquarium. Look at this view and the sun's out. It's glorious. And just like that, I'm back in Greenock. Actually, I think I've been saying it wrong. Uh, I've just met up with two lovely Scottish friends of mine and they were saying Greenock so I think I've been saying it wrong throughout this whole cruise I'm incredibly sorry 
to you Scots out there that I said the place name wrong. Uh, so Greenock, I'm still here in Greenock, we've just got to the ship. Yeah, I met up some friends and we had a lovely little time, went to a cafe, saw some beautiful views in Loch Lomond and just had a really nice afternoon. I'm back now on the ship, it's 3.30, the ship leaves at 5 so I've got a little bit of time to relax before it goes. There are Scottish bagpipes waving us off, can you hear that? Oh my gosh, it's a full band! It's so special! Scotland and Boy, you think? One of the highlight places. You called it Scotland the Brave. Wow. Thrusters are going now. And we're off. We've got some people waving over here. Hello everybody. We're coming away now. Yeah. Well it's the second largest. And off we go. Wow, look at this view as we leave. There's loads of cars all parked up and people waving at the ship. That's so special. The whole yeah, the whole all row, the all the way down. I don't know if the camera can pick it up because I'm filming into the sun. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, Captain America is meeting. It must be an Avengers theme night. That's so cool. I don't think I've ever met Cap. Who have we got down here playing? Oh, it's the electric violin. So we've walked in to this. I love it. It's a little monkey. I love that they always put the chocolate as a tongue. <laughs> Tonight we are in Rapunzel's Royal Table. <laughs> I love this restaurant. The lanterns, so pretty. We've got a very Rapunzel night because she's here and we've got the show tonight as well. The Tangled Musical. Hi everyone, I'm so glad you're all here to celebrate. You have once again now, don't you yourself. Oh, it is my pleasure. Is it everything you wish? Yes, it's a dream come true. Happily ever after. And her story has finally begun. Bryony went for the ravioli and I got the potato soup. Bryony got the beef and I've got the chicken. We've been doing that every night. Beef and chicken. I've got the cupcake sundae. This is one of my favorites. Sarah, I know this is your favorite dough. I always think of you because you love it so much. Mm -hmm. And then Ryan, you got the creme brulee. Yeah. So we have joined the queue to meet Thor. Very exciting. We've got the electric violin still playing. Hello. Ryan, and yours. <laughs> Claire. Claire. <laughs> nice, nice to meet you. you. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, Hi Pluto! I <laughs> <laughs> love it. Here. Bam. Very nice. Here you go. One, two, three. One more time. That's good. That's good. That's good. Hi, Cap. How are you doing, man? <laughs> how are you? Very well. How are you? Good. Thank you. Claire? Yes. <laughs> oh, glasses. Hi. <laughs> Switch to my phone because your phone just died. <laughs> it's it's dead. Sorry. RIP. RIP. <laughs> so thought I'd catch you up. Our meal tonight was spectacular. The menu was just brilliant. Everything I ate was so so good. Then we've been meeting characters. And we just met Captain America and I'm still a bit shaky from it <laughs> because no. I'm just so awkward. I don't know how you all do it out there, how you come up with all these great conversations. I'm so awkward. I shook his hand twice and then I was like, oh, I'm sorry, I've already done that, haven't I? And he said, we can do it again. Well, I'll do whatever you want, Claire. <laughs> It's just so funny. So I'm not sure if, I, if we caught that on camera, but um, yeah, if you saw that, that's what happened there. <laughs> I'm just grabbing a drink now because it's Tangle the Musical, and then we'll be in Fathoms for tonight. Uh, the quartet, the Shamrock Tenors that played last night, are playing in Fathoms tonight. So it should be good. And as well, there's probably gonna be a little quiz or something as well. It's been a really good day today, actually. I think it's been one of my favorite days so far because Scotland's just been beautiful. We've had such a laugh and we've had such a laugh with so many people on board. We're just all getting to know each other and recognize people and um, yeah, we've had loads of characters, really good food and then it's gonna be a great night of entertainment tonight. What a great day. Right, we're going into the theatre now for Tangled. We call her the the next day now I completely forgot to finish this video I really hope you enjoyed coming to Scotland with me I had the best day uh, stay tuned for a full day at sea for the next vlog thank you so much for watching please like this video if you did subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you next time 